Okay guys, today we will do true false fill in the blanks, answer the following and briefly explain the importance of each of the following. So let's start from true and false. So the first question is, India has a military dictator as its ruler false because we have democracy system. The second question is, Punjab is the grainy of India. True, Punjab is called the grainy of the India. The third one is Kerala has a wet climate. Yes, it's true because Kerala is a coastal area. That's why it has a wet climate. The fourth number is many religious are practiced in India. This is true because we know we are practicing many religious in our India. Now the fifth number is we no longer practice untouchability in our country. Because we are still practicing untouchability in our society and in our country. Now come to the fill in the blanks. The first is the state of being different or unique is called diversity. The second question is Bengali Bihu is celebrated in the state of Assam. The third is Das is a festival celebrated in Rajasthan, so the festival is celebrated in Rajasthan is called Cattle Fair. Okay, now come to the fourth number. A large family consisting of grandparents, parents, aunties, uncle and cousins is called a joint family. Now come to the question and answer. So this is our first question. Why does society need diversity? So for this answer, we have to come the page number 2. Below the first picture, we got your answer. Okay, so our answer is start from when. We have to cut all you and put in the place of you, you have to put we. So the answer will, when we leave, with a diverse group of people, we learn from them, we observe different culture, we become more tolerant and broad-minded. When we live in a society, we learn from different people, we learn from different people, we learn from different cultures, and we learn from different cultures, and we learn from different cultures. Now, the second question is, through each reason has its own culture, there is unity in India's diversity. Justify this statement. For this answer, you have to come page number 2. Second paragraph of India's unity in diversity. So, the answer will start from, okay, answer will start from despite all diversity. You have to cut this. So the answer will, despite all diversity, the different style in race, food habit, languages and culture, there has always been interaction, exchange and an underlying unity among Indians. So this is our second answer. So the, the, the third question is, how has the caste system harmed society? For this answer, you have to come page number third in the paragraph of social diversity. In para one of social diversity, you have to write from people. People are identified according to the caste to which they belong. People belonging to some sections of society continue to be treated badly in many parts of India even today. तो हम लोग पहचाने जाते हैं हमारे कास्ट के थ्रू और बहुत जगह पे हमारे साथ क्या होता है कास्ट की वजह से अनइक्वालिटी का बिहेवियर देखने को मिलता है हमारे इंडिया में ओके द फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज यूज द एग्जांपल ऑफ केरला एंड पंजाब टू इलिजरेट द नेचर ऑफ रिलीजन डाइवर्सिटी इन इंडिया फॉर दिस आंसर यू हैव टू कम the case study of Punjab and Kerala, which is start from page number 5, but our answer is in page number 5. So, come to the page number 5 and start from the first line. So, we will answer this question 
to the point the, so the first point is agriculture is the main industry of this state ko cut karke you have to write punjab the second line is the climate is one of the extremes with winter temperature dropping up to minus 5 degrees celsius and summer temperature often touching 47 degree celsius now the third point is for punjab clothing of punjab the kurta dhotis and pagdi worn by the man and the salwar kameez worn by the woman this is the three point for the punjab now come to the second page page number 6 okay so we will start from unlike as a first point so the answer will unlike punjab in kerala it is a service sector that is the major industry i underlined the answer unlike punjab comma in kerala is it the service sector that is major industry the second point is from below of second paragraph the second point is kerala maximum daily temperature average 36.7 degree celsius and the minimum 19.8 degree celsius now the third point is from the picture below the point is the mundu is worn by the man and the mundam neriyattam by the woman of kerala so this is our answer okay now next question is what is poverty line so for this answer we have to come in the page number 3 the second paragraph of economic inequality come to the page number 3 and second para of economic inequality okay this is our page number 3 so the answer will start from from the poverty line is the minimum level of income needed to achieve an adequate standard of living it's known as poverty line or it's called poverty line i am repeating the answer the poverty line is the minimum level of income needed to achieve an adequate standard of living so this is our answer number 5 come to the question Okay the next question is question number 6 that is write a note on the nature of economic inequality in india so for this answer we have to come in our page number 3 economic inequality okay answer will start from very first paragraph india has some of the richest people in the world then after you have to write from there are people in india who won several cars who spent their vacation is in expensive places and who can afford to spend several thousand of rupees on a single meal or a single item of clothing then after you have to start from India also has some of the poorest people in the world according to the government of India in 2011 to 2012 to 27.5% of population of India lived below the poverty line okay i am repeating the answer again india has some of the richest people in the world then after you have to start from there there are people in india who won several cars who spent come to the second line there are people in india who on several cars who spend their vacations in expensive places and who can afford to spend several thousand of rupees of a single meal or a single item of clothing then after we have to start from the sec first line to the second paragraph that is india also has some of the poorest people in the world according to the government of india in 2011 to 2012 27.5% of population of india lived below the poverty line 
तो दिस इज आवर क्वेश्चन आंसर नंबर सिक्स ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट स्टेप कैन बी टेकन टू रिड्यूस इकोनॉमिक इन इक्वालिटी इन आवर बुक देयर इज नो अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव आंसर इन रिटर्न बाई मी सो फॉर दिस आंसर वी हैव थ्री पॉइंट फर्स्ट नंबर पॉइंट इज Every Indian should be educated and given equal opportunities to choose a profession. The second number answer is the poor people should be given financial support to study and learn a skill. The third number and point is increase minimum wages and providing assistance to small business. So this is our answer number seven. Now, now we have to deal. briefly explain the importance of each the following so we will deal both of the question in the same page so first we have to read the question the first question is education for the girl child and the second question is conscientious effort to abandon untouchability so the answer will okay for the question number 1 education for the girl the answer will education a girl child is important because there is three points read one by one when they grow up they look after their family the second point is an educated girl can be of more help to the family and could be able to educate her child too the third point is education makes a girl child in independent and self reliant okay now the last question of this chapter is conscientious effort to abandon untouchability so answer is there there is three there is four points of this answer the first point is public should be awareness is necessary to abolish untouchability the second point is caste system is main cause of untouchability now the third point is education education is the best method for eradication of untouchability now the fourth number point is government should provide some facilities and employment opportunity so this is our complete question and answer true and false and fill in the blanks i hope it will help you thank you